You're never going to find out until you ask those people. Yeah. You know? Like I said, if you have a commodity and you have something that somebody wants to be a part of or it's worth somebody being a part of, people will come. You know, if, if you build it, they will come. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, director, producer, writer, John John. How you doing, man? Actor, Concrete Rose, Damien. Villanueva, and you are now tuned in to What's Your Hustle podcast. Holla. What's your hustle? What do you do? Here to bring money and attention to you A lot of people want to know you gotta give them the truth Here to run the numbers up, we about to go through the roof What's your hustle? What's your hustle? Here to talk about your grind How you spend your time We done brought you to the show You gotta speak what's on your mind What's your hustle? What's your hustle? What's your hustle? All right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of What's Show Hustle Podcast. And I'm your host, Corey Pringle. And today, yo, this is a treat for y'all because we never had no type of individuals before on this podcast, unlike these brothers, like literally brothers too, um, on this podcast. So y'all, we got John John and Damian D'Lo, Villain New Waver. Let's give it up for them, y'all. Man, man, man. That's a lot. That's a lot. Appreciate it. Side note, we did have to work on the little the last name. Like I had to take those. We got it though. We got, I got it though. We got it. We got it though. He did good. Thank you. Better than my fifth grade teacher. You good, baby? Better than the fifth grade mm-hmm. teacher. Hands down. So yeah, that was back in the day. So you know them teachers wasn't worth nothing. No, no, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So tell me about. Tell, I don't know. Uh, tell me about yourself. I, I know that you've. Uh, I know that you produced. A movie and it was based it was inspired from um your father and it's based on like um love um uh betrayal and yeah. like i mean it, it just it just sounds crazy i mean you can tell it better than i can so oh, let's yeah. uh let's get into it how did that come about like uh, the movie is called concrete rose it's uh south bend indiana's first all latino casted film in south bend indiana history that's over 100 years um, I did it with uh, close friends, family, and also uh, celebrities out in Hollywood as well, and Texas as well. Um, it's a true story based on my father's life. Uh, he used to tell us this story when we were little kids, mm-hmm. and we used to um, sit at the table and listen to him tell this story, and we didn't really get the full story until we got a little bit older, and once we got the full story, it just blew us away. And that's back when your parents would sit down and talk with you. Yeah. There was no phones. Yeah, there nah, was no nah, nah. We nothing was like that. We, we grew up outside kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. And our father, he was a hard dude. And uh, he also had a pretty amazing life, you know, his, his adventures in life. It's unbelievable. You know, yeah, yeah unbelievable. So when he sat down and uh, spoke at a table or anything like that, we were like sponges. Yeah, we definitely listened. And it's a story I wanted to tell. And uh, I put it together. And uh, slowly but surely, two and a half years later, it's finally done. And not only is it done in the beautiful city that I love and was raised in, as well as my brother, but um, I, uh, by the grace of God, happened to get JT Campos from Queen of the South in my film, who spent five years on the USA Network. I got Steve Villegas, who plays Sad Eyes on On My Block on Netflix right now, and he's also on the CBS uh, uh, TV show called SWAT. He's in the mm-hmm. film. Danny Trejo's niece, Lisa Martinez, is in the film as well. Um, Shout out to Lisa, man. She's awesome. Blessed, blessed person. She blessed the the project as well. And then we got Noel G, you know what I'm saying, from Training Day, Fast and the Furious, The Purge. She just recently did a a thing with uh, Clint Eastwood a couple years ago on The Mule. And he's recently working on something with John Travolta right now as we speak. He graced the project as well as countless other celebrities that reached out to us and uh, Enrique Guzman. to send their support. And then Crazy. the Chicagoans, Enrique Guzman, Enrique Kings, Marcos Burgess, Rocky Lopez, Wendy Lopez. I got over 85 cast members in the film, along with Takashi Six Nines, Baby Mama, Salute, Sarah Molina, you know what I'm saying? Instagram influencer at its best, single mother, you know what I'm saying? She graced the film with her, uh, you know, her beauty and her, her skills as well. And, uh, it's an epic tale about, you know, romance, love, twists, turns, drama, family ties. You're going to learn a lot about our family, how we were pretty much raised in a similar views, and uh, people are going to fall in love with these characters as well. I mean, if you watch movies, <clears throat> and if you really watch movies, you really analyze movies, and, you know, they, they're a part of your life, you know, a part of your pastime, you'd be a damn fool not to love this movie. It's a beautiful film. It is. It's Celine Morales. 
in the film, you know, the co-star in the film as well. My brother plays Gino in the film as well. I mean, it's a Heka Garcia. Y'all hate me like by the too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, hate me by yeah. Now it happens, but that's a spoiler alert. Putting You're people on, you. putting people in position <laughs> to win. So, man, that man, that's amazing and awesome. Like, I'm I'm inspired from from hearing that. You know, I'm, I'm originally from Chicago. I moved to to South Bend, but man, like that's that's just big. Like, I don't like I I, I don't personally know anybody that has done anything like on a level when y'all talking like. This is not a small feat. Like this is huge. So, congratulations to y'all of putting that together. And like I, I, I'm trying to figure out my man. Like, how did y'all pull this together? Like, because you literally like taking a story that y'all father is telling y'all, but y'all had a vision. Was like, bro, this is something. Let me take this one right quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, and 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 this is absolutely true. Um, it was towards the end of when when we were trying to do music all the time. That's where we started off from is music, and that's how we generated a buzz around town was because of music. This was supposed to be John John's final little video yeah. that he was gonna do yeah. for music. Yeah. And so he's like, hey man, just jump in in this video, man, do a couple little things for me, and the song is hot. The song's called Concrete Rose. Mm-hmm. So when we started filming and uh, you know shooting for the video, the video, I mean, is off the chain. I mean, Crazy. seriously, the video is off the chain. Crazy. But uh, as time move on, you know, my brother John John was like, man, you know, this seems like a movie. It could like be a, a mini movie. Yeah. And then we started shooting even more. And 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 I tell you the, the honest truth, when COVID hit, that's when the movie was actually supposed to come out. But, Two days prior. But and yeah. after that, he started doing more and more and more. So when COVID hit, it just went into all full blown movie production. And then I got more people involved in it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the Enrique Guzman, uh, Jose Santiago Jr., they are all been in Chicago PD, Death Wish for Bruce Willis, Sinister 2. Cool dudes, too, Like, these baby. people have cool been in big, people, big man. productions, and they got to catch wind of what I'm doing out here, and they hit me up and wanted to be a part of it, and I checked out their resumes and stuff, and we just went nuts. So now as we stand today, I mean, I got two strip clubs, I got three biker bars, I got a church, I got a baseball stadium, I got an airplane Airplane. hangar, three private jets, a yacht. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Two hotels we shot in. I mean, it's amazing what we did. Not only did we shoot in South Bend, the Goshen area, Michigan, but we shot in Los Angeles, LA, Long Beach, New York, Texas. Like, I spent everything I possibly could, blood, sweat, and tears, to make sure this thing was a success. Not just doing something for like a, a local movie, but I wanted to do something that could stand up to what is being played right now on like a Netflix or a, or an Amazon, you know, because I felt like the story deserved, you know, these this production, and uh, that's what I got for the film. You can actually feel that movie. I mean, yeah. I just recently got to be able to see a private the screening thing, yeah, of the yeah, movie, yeah. and you can actually feel the energy. Yeah. of the the actors and what they portray. It was everybody in there played their part. I mean, to the absolute fullest. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like an actor playing nah. that part. It was them. They I put real into people them, into know? the situation. I didn't get ho- some quote unquote Hollywood actors to play a certain role. I got people that was already that role, that fit their description already, and put them in the joint. And like I said, put them in position to win. And some of them, some of them are away right now. Yeah, you know, some shout them, out Philo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? He's doing five years right now, but he'll be yeah, home. You know, some of them you know went away, and yeah. like I said, you know, they, if if you really want, like, you know, and and it's not like for just the everyday Joe. I mean, you got to have people that's gonna respect you enough to do this movie with you and exactly. keep it going with you. But you know, you want to see real gangsters in movies, you got to get a real gangster. No, I think you know, definitely. You know, yeah. we had that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it wasn't. It, it's not glorifying. You know what a lot of them represent. You know it's not. It's not about that. It's about they can take time off of what they do to do yeah, something. Give them positive. an opportunity. You know, like there was. You know, a, 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 you know, a Thomas Tovar. You know, he just got out of prison. You know, he did eight years. I gave him an opportunity. You know, what I'm saying to be in the joint. You know, because you know he deserved it. He's a good dude. Second chances, giving people an opportunity to win, and in return you build this certain network situation where everybody can positively work together. There was never no arguments, there was never no fights, there was never no disputes on set, nothing like that. 
it was nothing but pure joy because everybody knew they were doing something greater from what they've already have done already. They're doing a purpose for themselves, their families, as well as the culture, you know, the Latino culture. And the locations were love. And we yeah, also... they showed love. Finney's. I mean, I got two clubs, the Arenas and Elkhart. I mean, I got them, man. And we Limousines. Also, you know? We also went, you know, into somewhere where it's a little bit different. We dipped into motorcycle clubs. Yeah. You know, shout yeah. out to the Hood Rats. Hood Rats. You know what I'm you know saying? Big shout out to my brothers from Sin City. Sin City. You know, and the Savages. Also, yeah. you know, they all put in. They always like, hey, man, my door is open to you. Yeah. You know, our doors are always open. And we went in there and we really showed out. And some of those places, now two of those places that we shot at. Closed down. Closed down. Yeah, from the know? feds. And, so and, they and, will and, always yeah. have that. They will always remember that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That, that little positive thing that they did right there is going to be memories lasted a lifetime. People showing respect, you know, because they seen the bigger picture, you know? Like, uh, other productions wouldn't reach out to some of these people and put them in their thing or let them do what they do, even though they have the talent to do it. And another thing, I'm going to tell you this is the God's honest truth, Latinos don't get looks in movies like that. There's only 3% of leading people in the last 10 years that actually came out in Hollywood from an Hispanic culture that was a leading man or, or female. We don't get them looks like that. And we really don't get all Latino casts really anymore. You know what I'm saying? We don't get that. Anything they got for us, we're always playing bad guys. Or we're, or we're, in the, yeah. or we're a gardener or something. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I wanted to flip that narrative as well. So on top of putting people in position, putting my family in position, putting my father's story in position, I put my culture in position. Mm -hmm. And I gave not only us as people an opportunity, because there might be a young, inspiring girl, boy, that might look up to that and be like, wow. If they can do it, I can do it. So it's also inspiring others. So it's pure positivity all around, man. All, all grace to God. Man, That's really, real. Really, it's like dream big. Dream big, yeah. but hustle bigger. Make it happen. You know? Yeah. Man, salute to you, brothers. I mean, I'm over here. I'm like, just keep going. Y'all yeah. inspire me. Y'all yeah. pouring in um, to I'm, me today. Yeah, you just make it happen, man. Like, anything is possible. There's no cap. There's no limits. There's no nothing. I mean, we shouldn't be in the position we are now from how we was raised and how we grew up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we're not. We're great fathers. We're not junkies. You know, we're not in prison. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, we're trying to do something better and put other people in position to do better as well. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I said, you can't lose when you're really coming from the heart. I mean, we grew you know? up. I mean, the way we grew up, we grew up cool, but we all had rough lives. Yeah. And But the one thing that we had never did uh, throughout our lives is use what we had, you know, that hurt us in the past to destroy what we yeah, have now. Nah, nah. You know? that's fuel. That, yeah, that, that's like the, the, I think that's the best fuel. I mean, if you don't go through nothing, you can't teach nothing. Very real. You can't tell nobody nothing. That's the real, yo. You know, for real. That's very real. No, that's very real. I, I completely agree. We're blessed, man. I can't lie about it. And now the situations as far as the business that I have with the promotions and the people that I'm touching to, uh, put this film out to the world are some of the biggest celebrities in the world. I'm talking about the biggest celebrities in the world that are looking at this film, screening this film, you know, and we're negotiating on them putting this film out for me. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at all the shout outs that we got. Soldier Boy, Neo. Everything. The, one of the yeah. Island Boys, you know, Red, like they show love, man. Cause they and see what we're doing. Real people, man. Yeah. You know, they didn't have to do that. We nah. didn't pay none of them to do it nah. either. You know, it was just all out of love, you know? They seen and, what we uh, was doing for the culture. I had one of my one of my favorite actors shout out my name. Me he couldn't Clo. pay that anything. Me you know Clo. what I'm saying? Yeah. Me Clo from Blood yeah, In, Blood yeah, Out. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, Damian Chapa. Yeah. Salute, man. Wow. Yeah, we met him and shit. He gave my daughter a picture mm -hmm. and stuff. And, I know uh, and Emilio Rivera from Great the Mayans. Mayans. Great, great dude. dude. You know what I'm saying? El Patron from the Mayans. And, you know? and uh, Antonio Emilio from the Mayans. He played Riz. Like I talked to him regularly. Like he seen what I was doing and respected it. He was spooky from the Mayans. And, uh, yeah, yeah, Creeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You said, yeah. They show love, man. And all this started with, from a, a music, video. music video. Let's make a scene for a music yeah. video. It's like, yeah. a, and then now y'all just... Yeah. So so what was so what was that process like? Okay, so you was in the process of like, let's make this a music video. Mm -hmm. And then at some point you say, this should be a film. So how did like how did that go? Like how did that come about? Did you start sitting at the table? Day, day one, it just felt like a film, yeah, it but it right. felt like something that, like I said, the story of my father. It just felt like that. So after day one, I knew what I was gonna do with it. 
and I just start writing and writing because we're natural writers. We've been doing this since we were 11, 10 years old. We write. So y'all two wrote the script. Y'all sat down and wrote the script. He helped more me. More or less, I, I was yeah. doing, I was more of the... Um, Bouncing stuff yeah, off of. Just okay. throwing yeah. ideas out there. Yeah. And you know what I mean? And he would I'd write put them it up, in there. Man. I mean, but yeah, basically, I mean, we're always, we're always doing stuff on our own, but we're always together. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so no, it, it either, either goes, it's VN Weber forever. Yeah, hands down. You know? And yeah. also, want to give a shout out to Lane Calhoun. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he also, I want to give a shout out to started, um, you know? uh, uh, Dr. A Relief Center, as well as uh, Golden Glow CBD, the sponsors in the film as well. You know what I'm saying? Salute to them for I believing some, in the project. I CBD, bro. They believe in the product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They believe in the, in the film. And uh, it's a joint effort. Like, you know, hairstylists that came on, you know what I'm saying? They helped out with the project. You know, people that helped with the camera work, the lighting situation, you know, Stan, Kevin. You know, Kevin Ford Raving shows up. Uh, Raving special in, effects from Chicago. Yeah. Like, yo, like. And our niece, Andrea, too. She also came in. Barbara, yeah. And did uh, a lot of the um, the blood work that, that mm -hmm. we had to do in there. And one and, of the scenes, yeah. yeah. And yeah. But the scene that Raven did, it's it's uncanny. Oh, it's amazing. The guy looked dead. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's amazing. Yeah. Wow. And this was just all off the strength, you know. Love, man. Uh, let, let, let's, let's do a movie and let's see how many people come in there and do and be uh, real about themselves. You know? This was all built off just pure relationships and, and networking. I reached out with every resource I possibly had, and that stems from the music game that we mm -hmm. did, that I've done in the past. I reached out to a rs that I knew from Convict Music, D-Tech and them. I reached out to Lisa Martinez, you know what I'm saying, from Texas that such a sweet got me in touch with a, a lot of these other actors and stuff, you know? And I would let them know about the film and I would present them with what I'm doing and they actually absolutely fell in love with it. I mean, every time we ever did anything, we're, we're granted it'd be a show or a party, you know, we ain't never burnt no bridges. Nah. So, you know, we nah. were the bridge. You know, we still yeah. are the bridge. Yeah. You no, know, you stay and solid then, with people. You will always have a good rapport. I'm the type of friend I ain't got to talk to you every day. But when I do, it's like I talked to you yesterday. So for those who don't know how to go about doing that, like, building solid relationships and not burning bridges like how would you say one could could go about developing that it's a simple way trust you know, God. It, well, you know of course that but it's when it comes to i feel like business i feel like um what a lot of people don't realize is you got to have something that other people could possibly want you know what i'm saying it's a give and take a relationship when it comes to business. And it's not easy. But you can build that with somebody as long as you have a product or something that somebody else can be a part of and, and appreciate that. And you can build that foundation and relationship. And then it can become friendship. A lot of these people that I work with uh, on the film, these people actually became my friends. You know, that, that um, I didn't know right off the jump. You know what I'm saying? Good people too. But you stay solid. You stay genuine. You don't try to burn people or you don't try to be like, uh, you know, worry about short money. It's all about the long game, man. Because if you got if you got if you got five broke friends, you're gonna be broke. You know what I'm saying? But if you got five friends that y'all build up together, being broke and build up together, and y'all all become successful, you'll always be successful. Because you can always go to that one friend and for a handout or a reach out if you get into a situation, or give him a handout, you know, or, or something if they become into a situation. So it's a revolving recycling door of nothing but positivity and being solid, man, and not yeah, burning people. You got to stay solid. And being honest. You, you got to stay exactly. Yeah. You got to, sometimes you got to put your foot down and grow roots. You know, don't let nobody budge you. Don't let nobody nah, say yeah. you can't, man. That, that's fuel for us. Yeah. You know, say that we can't do something. And I bet you we make it happen. Yeah. You know, say that we're not going to be nothing. That's just like, all right, we're going to strive so hard to prove somebody wrong. And do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't be lazy. Like, people always want to hit people up and be like, yo, can I? Can you put me? Like, put yourself on. Because there's one thing that you're not going to do for yourself. You're not going to, like, damage yourself. You're going to do everything you can to make sure that you put yourself in the best position possible where others might not look at you and put you in the best situation as possible. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like, do it yourself, man. Like man. with these kids, a lot of people, they come to me and they ask me how you do this, how you do that. And how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Man, the internet, man, look at your phone. You have everything that you possibly could want to know on your phone. Instead of watching them, you, you got know. YouTube, you got everything. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Make it happen. That way you don't have to hear a no. You don't have to uh, give me a week or two or maybe next year. You don't have to hear all that because you're doing it yourself. You feel me? 
And uh, I think that's the best way to do it independently. Yeah, do it Shout yourself. out to you know D Block. You know what I'm saying? Sheik Luch independently. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He told me that independently. He's doing it himself, and people respect that. You know, so it's love, man. It's and don't ever get don't ever get starstruck, man. Because some yeah, of these nah. people don't like it. They don't yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 treat them just like you would treat some. You know what I'm saying? Treat somebody you respect. You know what I'm saying? Because respect is gained and then it's earned. You know, you know, some people that go out there and try to take respect, you know, they, they also get that bad name, man. It follows them around forever. True, especially you in know? business. Like one mm-hmm. one bad business move can scar you. True. And if and if you if you if you left out in bad terms, it's still gonna follow you. Especially man. in the you entertainment class. In the entertainment business, it's a small circle. It's not broad like most people think. It's a small circle. If you know one somebody that's in that situation, you can know them all. It's a small circle. It's just getting into the situation. So always, uh, you know what I'm saying, hold your, your yourself with class and dignity and respect yourself and respect others and handle your business, you know what I'm saying? And have fun. Yeah, no, definitely have fun. Have fun. No, that's man. a must, man. Because, I mean, I knew definitely, definitely that I'm never going to be in a, a, a girl flick movie, romantic comedy, I might, might not. You, know, you never know, but, man. But you know, you'll never see me doing a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can you see me doing the uh, the Old Spice commercial? Uh, you know? Hanes. Yeah, you know. Hanes. Wait till we get your hands on you, fool. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, have fun, man. Don't be. I mean, don't be afraid to put yourself out there, man. Yeah, no, definitely. Don't be afraid. Man. No, definitely, man. I agree. Because I mean, a lot of people got that cool factor, and it's letting them tear them apart. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. People too cool, man. Too cool for school. You know too man? cool for school. Too cool man. for school. Can't learn nothing. That's they, real. They, they know everything. No, that's real. <coughs> it's no definitely, COVID. definitely, uh, definitely a grind, man. But we're blessed, man. And uh, my father's proud of me, and that's what uh, matters the most. You know what I'm saying? He watched the film recently and was uh, completely blown away. That was the first time he ever said he was blown away or uh, yeah. impressed Proud. by anything yeah. that we did. Yeah, that's true. Like I said, he's a hard dude. That's big right there. Yeah. Old, Pops to be like... old school gangster, man. Old school. Old I'm talking school, about man. old school. Old school. Old school. Vietnam yeah, War Vietnam veteran, vet, man. man. Wow. I mean, yeah. you know, like, yeah. we're, we're one of those kids that didn't have silver spoons, man. I would have loved a silver spoon. Mm. It was hard to get a spoon. I got one now. You know? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got one now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's wild, man. Yeah. I, I, with with our with our pops though, I mean, he was a he was a hard dude, but that man has a lot of heart. Yeah. Oh yeah. And Family. everybody loves him. Charismatic and yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So you say you was doing music before you got into <coughs> the whole movie situation. Yeah. So how long was you doing music? Oh, oh that my, long. My whole life. I mean, Your since I was fourteen, I've been performing, and going to professional studios, putting music out. Professionally, about 25 years. We've been, I mean, it's been... But musically, all our lives. It's just in our DNA. Our father started it when we were young because they would play harmonicas, pianos, guitars. Like, we were raised around this, you know? They would wake us up out of a dead sleep. See, this is back when, you know, you could take your kid to a party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't be looked at as an idiot. Like a real party. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they said, when was it? They asked us one time, they said, what was the first time that you guys ever went to, like, a party? What it was... It was crazy and people were drinking and I was like five, five four, six. five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, big kicking it, man. You know, we're Latinos, man. Some, you know, yeah. shout out George Lopez, man. And we'd be dancing, you know, he tells us to dance. Kids. They tell us, go ahead and dance. We'd be dancing for him and shit. They'd be glabbing it, you know. I mean, it was mm-hmm. love, man. But, you know, it was. It all started from music from at a very young age and then it got more popular locally and then even overseas, you know, magazines, DVDs back in the day. And then I signed to um, Vox Media Management. I was in cahoots with writing songs for Disney, Sony, uh, Def Jam. I worked with uh, Akon's artist, Jason Miller, back in the day. Uh, first South Bend artist to have her major signed artist shoot a video in South Bend. This is back in 09. You know, this is a minute ago. Yeah, you know? so don't think if you're from a small town, you ain't going to ever make No, you can you do gonna whatever, have, man. Just, man, put that yeah, footwork in, man. You can do whatever, man. Yeah, we've been all over with the United States. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it was a, it was a grind, but you, evolve, you have to evolve, especially in business creativity, entertainment, anything, you got to evolve, you know? And then, and now we're evolved into, you know, I'm doing film and this is the, what I'm doing and this is what's going to, you know, change everything for a lot of people. So I'm blessed. Headstrong, man. Headstrong being 
we didn't think that we had to have something to fall back on because we didn't want to fall back. We wanted to fall forward to see what we're falling into, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and, and it's always been about the arts, you know, music, entertainment, you know, anything about that, we're all in it, man, because a lot of it, I mean, the first start of it is just fun. Yeah. Have some fun. You know, sometimes when you put a smile on somebody's face, man, when they're having a hard day, man, that's an accomplishment. You can't get paid for that. You no. know what I'm saying? And it costs nothing to nothing. do so either. You know? Yeah, no, definitely. Where did the um the business sense come from? How did you all get that? <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here, man. I mean, you yeah, know. I mean, look, if he had to look in a book or he had to look online... And he, he did that, man. Oh, I'm man. ADD. I'm just like, whatever you do, I'm going to do it right with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, down yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Protect your interests and everything, man. Man, I'm going to yeah. keep it real statue. I mean, you know, back in the day, you know, we used to, you know, dip on, dab on things, you know what I'm saying, that might not be, uh, you know, graciously looked at as a good thing today, you know what I'm saying? Right. But statues of limitations is what it is, so it, it is what it is. But you learn certain things. But like I said, we grew up around a certain element as well. We got to see what real business looked like. We got mm -hmm. to smell what it looks like to be a man to another man and do business with another man. So there's always been a respect level that was that was raised in us, and we just took that along when it came to anything as far as business or anything. All of our OGs, and if we want to put it in a street sense, all of our OGs made money. Yeah. And they wanted to pass that along. Yeah. And since they got out of what they were doing, what they wanted to pass down was just that hustle sense. Yeah. So we had good people all around great us. Great people, man. You know, and older my, people. They might not be great to other people, but they were amazing to us. Yeah, no, you without know? a doubt, still are. No, mm -hmm. still are. You know, that's why they're impressed too, because like I said, a lot of the elements that we were raised on that we got to see growing up and things we'd hear about growing up, I put into the film because it was the story. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that know us are gonna see things like, Wow, I didn't know this certain thing. Or like, wow, I, I heard about this, but the family's excited, man, because it's it's opening up a, a, a box to a lot of things, you know. But the greatest thing of anything that comes from anything that you do from a negative standpoint is getting out of the negative standpoint and doing something better for yourself, doing something better for your family, your children, you know what I'm saying? And uh, not be stuck into a situation where it can hurt yourself or people around you, you know what I'm saying? So it's the journey, you know what I'm saying? But... The business sense to answer your question comes from the streets, man. It just does, you know. But it, it evolves, you know. You become a man and you, you learn how to talk business to anybody. I'm talking about millionaires, billionaires. You know, you can speak to these people as long as you hold yourself with a certain dignity and class and know that you are unique as well as them. God made only one of us a piece. There's nobody like him else in the world. There's nobody like you else in the world. There's nobody like you else in the world, you else in the world, you else in the world. We're all unique. Therefore, we're special. You know what I'm saying? As long as we keep that in our mind, handle anything, man. Learn respect me? before you learn anything. Real talk. Learn respect. Learn respect. Man, we giving all, him man. some gems right now. Man. I ain't even lying to you. We're giving him some gems. <laughs> hey, y'all getting all the yeah. game on this <laughs> podcast. Him some gems. Hey, they say you should listen more than you talk. I know this is a podcast. I'm, yeah. I'm listening. I'm on yeah. the listening side. I didn't hey. want to kill him all. <laughs> but, you know, it is what well, it we'll is. We'll hand you a card after the, um, yeah, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, I'm like, man, y'all, you need to be like a motivational speaker or something, a coach or something. Heard that a time or two. Me yeah. too, you know, yeah, yeah. for real. I'm not shocked because you, 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 you got it. A lot of people, like you said, a lot of people just don't have it. But you Cat, man. Mm -hmm. That's, I see so much cat, man. Let the work speak, man. Don't break it, bend it. Yeah, know? let the work speak, man. Don't talk about what you're doing. Talk about what you've done. What's, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let the work speak right. here, you know? Like all these things that I talk about, these celebrities, all these things can be found on the internet, man. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, you know what I'm saying? With John John Villanueva, you know what I'm saying? Like all these things, this is reality, you know? Man, on our off time, we do funny little videos. Yeah, you know, keep things time, man. keep things creative and stuff, you know? So but, I got like a TikTok or something going oh, on? Oh, yeah, no, Magic Radio, Magic man. Radio. Everybody loves Magic Radio. Oh, y'all go ahead with the TikTok. Oh, yeah, man. Magic Radio, man. People it's love about it. every time the radio comes on, whatever song we do, we're hypnotized to that song, and that's what we do, And man. we can't help but to sing, and can't it's some random songs, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds like And it's funny. funny seeing two people do that that don't uh, look like we actually know the song. You know what I'm saying? But, right. I'm, I'm going to sit here like, what y'all just described, this, uh, I'm like, nah, I've never seen nothing yeah. like this. So man, I, Check them out, man. Magic yeah. Radio, man. Me and my Magic brother. Were, Shout out to Flamo, you know what I'm saying? Right, Flamo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The people. Juliana, you know? Yeah. Love, man. Me and my brother were completely opposite, but Definitely. we're the same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if you can take that in. We're completely opposite, but we have the same type of mindset. We're I mean, raised especially same. when it comes to, you know, handling our business. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, granted, definitely. You know, yeah. And shout out to my sister Cat, man, for helping with the film as well. That's been supportive, you know, and everybody else out there. You know what I'm saying? That's always supported us and really held us down because it's the people that spoke for this, you know, and even the the, the city officials. Uh, you know, shout out to Aaron Perry for looking at the situation. Jonathan Jones for trying to help out with the situation. You know, Jeff Janicki and, the, and, the, and, and Jane from the Morris, you know, they're trying to put something together for a community premiere that want to be, you know, premiere out in South Bend. Like these are, it's reached people that I never thought this film could ever reach. The higher of hires of ups in, in, in LA, shout out to Antonia Reed. You know, she's a 16, movie, 16 year vet movie producer in Hollywood that calls me regularly to see how I'm doing, keep going, John, give me motivation. Like, I've met some beautiful people along the way, and like I said, it's the journey, man. I think you the know? movie itself, I think the world needs it. I agree. They need to see it. I agree. They need to see something different. I agree. You know, see something different. It's I different, agree. but the same. You know, like, like I said, if you could understand that, it's different, but the same. Mm -hmm. So what was one of the most challenging things about putting this movie together? Nothing. Nothing. It was just. It was all. Smooth. Go time. Go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Like I don't know how how spiritual people are, you know. And you know, I, you know, everybody seats your own. But God did this, man. Mm -hmm. I'm from South Bend, Indiana, man. We're not even an entertainment state. You know, We're I'm a Latino in South Bend, Indiana. You mm -hmm. feel me? This is a miracle. What happened? I'm being completely honest with you. Anything I ever wanted in the film, I got. I wanted to, but the mentality that I have is I don't settle. I could have settled with one private jet, so I got two more. I could have settled with one mansion, so I got two more. I could have settled with one strip club. Nah, you know what, I'm gonna get two more. But I, 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 there's no settle. I could have settled when JT Campos from Queen of the South, Boaz, got into the film. I could have settled with that. I said, no, I want more. I went and got more. <coughs> I, that's just, we love that's, JT too, that's my mentality. Some you know, of them, some I don't of the settle, cats came you know down, man. I don't. Some, some of the cats that, that came down and, and w was in the film, they were just like us. Just, yeah, one know, of the people. A couple man. of homies. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, and real recognized real, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, there was no challenges because anything I ever wanted in this film, I got. Because I have a resilience to me. I just do. I wanted a club, so I got two of them. He says resilience. I said relentless. Yeah, I'm a beast, yeah. man. Like, I'll make it going. happen. That's why when people come to me and they say, you know, like, you know, you know, I, I'm all open to give anybody advice at all, you know, but the best advice, in my opinion, is doing it yourself, finding it yourself. Because you're, if it's something that you really want and it's something that you're really passionate about, you're going to make it happen no matter what. No matter what age you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter your sexuality, no matter your race, you're going to make it happen. Because if you don't, you're just playing yourself. The more Civic has been up for 100 years already. They just got their anniversary. 100 years. There's never been an all-Latino casted film that's filmed in South Bend, Indiana before. Why not? That's amazing. So I made that happen. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing what you have accomplished. But I can tell you one thing. Just wait, there's more coming. What, what, what? It wasn't hard, but it was just annoying. Is when, because uh, we got homeboys too, and they they all would come up to him. Oh man! Or they'll come up to me. And, yeah. And they'll say, "Hey man, put me in the put movie." Put me in the movie. See, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. They, but they always had their own part already written down. See, oh, what, yeah. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit back <laughs> in this chair and I'm gonna shoot a couple people. And I'm, I'm gonna ride the boat. boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> you get that. I get that constantly. Oh man! But it's love, though. It's all love. Man. When they set their own scenes, that's how you know that they ain't gonna work too good with you. Yeah. How how do you, so how do you like how do you deal with that? Like I mean, I, I guess, tell them no. I was about to say how do you like how do you say you just say no? Except, like no, no. All Latino no. cash, man. No, you know what I'm saying like you know I kept it as true as possible as I could to the situation, and uh, 
you know, people understand what it is and what it is, but they still support because they're our friends. Like there was a post I put up uh, not too long ago that just made a lot of sense and it resonates so much. I got friends that are millionaires. I got friends with LLCs. I got friends with degrees and I got friends with felonies and they still my friends and I love them all equally. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's a real solid individual. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that I can go and have a beautiful dinner with, you know what I'm saying? Lobster dinner, the works, you know what I'm saying? But I got friends that can't do that, you know what I'm saying? But I love them the same. Be a human being. It doesn't matter what somebody has. It doesn't matter what, what, what silver spoons they had. It doesn't matter. People is people. Love people because people are, you know, if they're genuine and they bring positiveness to you, give it back to them, you know? Don't be, yeah, a, don't be a dick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Excuse my friend. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? Don't be like that. Be a good individual. And if somebody needs help, help that person. You know what I'm saying? If Make you sure can. you eat. Yeah. Make sure that's, I mean, the biggest thing. Make sure your family eats. That's real. You know? Make sure you eat. Don't be preppy. Sometimes you got to grab them little red pack of sausage. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to grill up hot dogs and hamburgers rather than lobster tails. And I, like I, <laughs> I, I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs, man. I mean, yeah. real talk, I mean... Not not to, to pull back, you know, hardships or trying to glorify it, but literally when we were 14 and 15, 16 years old, we was on our own. On our own. And uh, our pops knew that we had to be on our own. He was trying to make us men. He would come by and he would drop off like four or five bags of uh, tortilla, tortilla chips. chips. I hate tortilla chips. And about chips. nine pounds of bologna. I hate bologna. To this day. And no soda. Mm -mm. Soda was a luxury. We drank water. <laughs> Sugar water. I love water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love water. Though. You know, without the sugar, though? No, nah, I don't mess with the sugar. You don't man. Man, we bake cereal man. with water, too, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, no, it's not, like I said, it's not nothing to glorify, but it's something to let you know, man. You I know, love the hustle. It's man. not where you've been, it's where you're going. Yeah, I love, I love the grind, though. It's the journey, man. It's the journey. It makes people who they are, you know, and keep going forward. Don't stop. See, you can't fail unless you give up. It's the God's honest truth. You, know? you keep winning if you keep going. Keep going, man. Yeah. So, what's what's some things that you learn from producing a film like that you you know because you just like we just going with it. So you pretty much learning as you go. So what's some things that you learn? I'm a as research good dude, and I, I have people that's in position already. You know what I'm saying? That would give me knowledge on certain things. But I'm a huge research dude. Like, you know, like, I, I pay attention. I, I do research. I, I look up the greats. I study the greats. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I put myself on a crash course to know exactly how it should be done from, like, a Hollywood standpoint. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I made sure of that. Because not only the story, you know, it's precious to my heart, but obviously I, I didn't want it to compete with this. I wanted to compete with this. So when they see it, they're gonna be like, how in the hell did this kid do this? How did he make this happen? Like, this is crazy. And there's people in that position already that has told me, like, this is mind blowing, John. They're like, this is crazy what you're doing. You got what? You got a baseball stadium in your, you got a boat, a yacht? Like, people wild out, you know? You're never gonna find out until you ask those people. Yeah. You know? Like I said, if you have a commodity and you have something, that somebody wants to be a part of or it's worth somebody being a part of, people will come, you know? If, if you build it, they will come, you know? And that's just what it is. So I, I learned everything to answer your question, sir. I, I learned everything because I had to, because I had to make this right. I'm a perfectionist. I just am. Yeah. And so it took two years. Two and a half. It took two and a half yes. years. Every day. The, so every day, two every and a half. Day. So Monday through Sunday, every like seven day, days a week. Concrete you, rows. You knocking at it. Every you picking day. Picking at it away. I'd film, I'd edit. I'd film, I'd edit. I'd color, I'd sound. I'd film, I'd edit, I'd color, I'd sound. Mind you, I have to go on everybody else's uh, uh, scheduling. You know, because, you know, we're regular people. We all have, you know, jobs and works. We have kids, you know. That was probably the most thing, you know? Hey, can you make it this day? Hey, can you make it that day? We're here, we're there. But gracefully, everybody just made time because they know, you know, they just felt that we were dealing with something, you know, bigger than ourselves, which we are. And uh, the movie just came out phenomenal. It just, it just did, yeah. So how did you, um, how did you all stay like motivated 
to like keep pushing because that's a long that's time. The way we are. I'm a beast, man. I don't stop. If I put it in my head, I make it happen. You tell me I can't fly, I jump out your window. I go two blocks. You know what I'm saying? So once you made it up in your I'm mind. I'm a beast, man. From day one, I've been excited since day one. I mean, that's how we And I have that same excitement today, man. That's Other people's really fell off. I ain't gonna lie to you. Other people has got quiet and, you know, okay, you know, did my part, okay, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine. I understand people got their own lives. But I went, I went nuts. Because once I put it in my mind, it's, it will be accomplished. And the feats and the people that it's reaching today, it makes it all worth the while, you know? Blood, sweat, and tears. Every single day, I'm talking about hours and hours and hours and hours, man. Two hours sleep a day. Going hard, man. Making it happen. Getting with people. Hey, can I check out this place? Spot locations. I mean, the wardrobe. I did it all. And and even like even like when some had did anybody ever give you a no during this process? Or Hell did, no. A no? No. Yeah. Like no, nah, we're not interested. In that no, nah, that's okay. No. Or, no. It's every <laughs> no. wow. So I can see why you could say like it was truly no. God. I mean, the presentation itself would explain it. You know, no, we didn't go in like you know half cock. You know, what I mean? typical new we mansion. Full, full I mean. Everybody, the Oliver Mansion, I mean, every establishment, every person. There was people blowing me up wanting to be in the film from all around. The, I had people fly in from L.A. Mm -hmm. to be Man, in the film. Beach. Shout out Carlos, Fantastic. you know what I'm saying? The scars are good, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. they knew this is something, you know, because the buzz around it, you know what I'm saying, has been massive since the beginning, but, I mean, it's for us, man. It's for our people, you know? It's for our culture, you know? And people respected that. But there's something in there for everybody. And just because we didn't know a Latino cast does not mean that we didn't put something in there for everybody. Yeah, no, it's a yeah. human story. So that, I mean, that's where people get yeah, like no, the it's a human that, story. You know what I'm saying? We didn't want to just stop it at just all Latino. That's for everybody. No, it's a human you know, story. We, man. we wanted to do something for our people in our city. Yeah. You know? The man. bed, baby. Man, that's what's up to do it. I just keep them being South Bend. You did it for South the Bend. The Bend, man, mm -hmm. from my city that I love dearly, that made us into the people we are today. Absolutely. And I put the people in the city. Not only did I, the, uh, some actors that I have in the film that's from the Bend, Haka Garcia, Celine Morales, Eli Cantu, a countless of Gabriel Rios, Guala Joe, but even artists in the city. You know, shout out to Gigi, you know, uh, Danica, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, graced their talents for the, for the soundtrack of the film, along with Benzo the Realist. Shout out to my dog Benzo, Squirt the Flirt, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Holla at my dog Squirt, you know what I'm saying? Paul the producer, Alex the producer, you know what I'm saying? They're from the Ben, man. Mm -hmm. Now, I reached out to other people around the country as well to be a part of the, the music score that would send in and submit songs. But I still had to had it from the Ben, man. And I wrote four songs that's in the film, produced it and all. Oh, as well as uh, I had a, a great, great, <laughs> great instrumentalist um, from Chicago named Darren J. Uh, Fallis. He's amazing. And he graced uh, for the project as well, uh, production-wise with his guitar. And then I produced the ladies and stuff and wrote the songs and co-wrote on another one for them to be a part of it. Shout out to Gigi, you know what I'm saying, for gracing the project with her talents as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put people on from the city as well, you know? I had to, man. I mean, what I what would I be if I didn't, you know? It's real. That's what bosses do, put Hands other down. people in position. Hands down. Y'all some true bosses over there. Hands Hands down. Everybody eats. Yeah. Everybody don't there, have that. There were days where I didn't want to do none of the shooting, man, because it, I mean, just to, to to have him motivate you, you know what I mean? Plus, you know, we're family, we're blood, you know what I mean? So he's not gonna be calling up. All right, man, you need to come in. I need you, man. No, man, he's like, hey, man, come on, man, get up. We got to do this. We got to yeah. go now. Let's go yeah. now. Sometimes I'm flying out of the house, putting clothes on, you know, or didn't eat or something like that. I'm, you know? I'm, I'm resilient, a boy. I love to eat. I'm resilient, man. Man, I'm, I'm make it happen. I'm like, how, like, how do you keep that? Like, how do you keep that it's up? Passion. Some people fall off after a month, I see two months, do, I see them do it all months. the time. That's, I think the secret to life, and I feel like my opinion, my truth the secret to happiness is passion. If you're passionate about something, it doesn't matter what it is. It's going to make you completely, utterly happy. It's going to make life worth living. A lot of people haven't found their passion, and I feel extremely sad because of that for some people. Because once you find something that you really love, man, go after it, man. 
make it happen because then it don't become work. It becomes play almost. You know, you become greatly, you know, obsessive over it. You know, I, I get crazy with it. I'm pure endless focus with any task that comes my way no matter what. It is it is the horse mm -hmm. blinders up, yo, and I go. Because it's still a reflection And if somebody don't, if somebody don't want to be, you know, is falling off the rails and don't, I, it, I, they in the back, nah. I keep it moving, man. I keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. And people see that throughout the day. Okay, you can't make it this day. I understand. You know what I'm saying? I'll hit you up another time. That if never something pops with me, up, though. we keep it popping. <laughs> yeah, we keep it going, man. Man. It's the journey, baby. Hold on. I'm trying to get a little bit more comfortable like my yeah. bro over there. He like, yo, let me sit up. Ooh. Man, y'all just amazing with this. Like, <laughs> man, like y'all like thank you. Y'all you some unique individuals. It's a thank I'm you. I'm I'm pleasure to like actually like have met y'all and Yeah, man. Like, Ple man, pleasure to meet you, you know man. Likewise, bro. Brother. You know? Hell yeah, yeah. Man, you know, I don't come across I I'm I'm gonna be one hundred. I don't come across individuals like you all like every day. Like like when you talk about like the love and like you know what I'm saying like caring and like actually being yeah, a human man. like that stuff comes across like genuine like it's the you truth. can feel that yeah, man. you're not like conjuring up that like let me say something for the podcast nah, like y'all genuinely nah, like yeah. this and you could like you could feel it. I wish y'all was here in this room and y'all knew exactly what I'm talking about but this is all genuine yeah like bro because I know what it feels like for games yeah man. I mean I know what it feels yeah. like to be at the bottom I know what it feels yeah. like to be hurt and upset. We witnessed our brother shot and killed in 2002 in front of us, you feel me? He was laying from here to there as we speak, you know what I'm saying? April 4th, you know what I'm saying, 2002. Mm -hmm. There's things that we've been through in life that a lot of people don't make it from. And they use it for excuses for themselves to mess up their life or, or not go further in their life and not do something productive because they hold on to that pain and hold on to that hurt. I know what it feels like to be pain. I know what it feels like from another individual making me feel the utter worst pain that life can deal you. Misery, you know? So with me knowing that feeling, I empathize with people. If I know someone's might be going to something, I don't have a problem hitting them up like, Ma, you good? You know what I'm saying? Hey, homeboy, you good? You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's what's going on with you? You you all right? You need you need anything? Because I know what it feels like. I'm a real human, you Those know? Those cats that we reached out that... You know, we seen them uh, put on the a Facebook or something saying, "I just lost my brother." Yeah. We would reach out to them, not even yeah. knowing, and be like, "Hey, bro, we know what it, we know what it feels like." Yeah. You know, we know exactly every single moment that you're going through, even thinking through the dark part of your mind, yeah. thinking what you're gonna do to someone yeah. else or yourself. Yeah. We know exactly what that feels like, man. Yeah. And that and that's what kept us focused. Yeah. You know, you can think from the dark spot of your mind because it releases some little endorphins that'll make you feel good. You know, we're not perfect. We're human. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you the honest to God truth, man, if you hold on to that, you're going to ruin your life. Yep. And the only person's fault is going to be yours. Yep. People need to take responsibility for their own lives mm -hmm. and your don't actions, blame it on somebody else. You know, you know? what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, so, like I said, man, no pain, no gain. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't ever give up and just, man, keep focused. Mm -hmm. But if you know what the bottom is, you know you don't want to be there. So you do everything you possibly can to make sure you're not back and feeling in that spot. And you also make sure that, you know, being a human and, and, and empathizing with situations that if somebody's going through something, you be there for them. You ain't even got to necessarily know that person, man. Just show love. You know, your homeboy's sick, he messed up, you don't hit him up, man. How you doing? You good? You need anything? You know what I'm saying? Anything, man. I mean, you got to let them know. Especially if, if, you know what I'm saying, because we ain't never really been on a high rise, you know what I mean? We've nah, always been man. very leveled, man. We're yeah. very low to the ground, man. Street kids, you know what I mean? But you got to let a cat know when they're at their absolute worst and then they hit rock bottom. Be like, hey, bro, hey, man, there ain't nowhere else to go but up. Yeah. Yeah. That's facts, man. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where we went with that, but yeah, that's what, it, <laughs> if that was to answer your question, yeah. that's what it answered your question, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely answered the question. Nah, I appreciate it, dude. No doubt. Appreciate it. Um, man, I want to touch some more on this, uh, on this film. So, yeah. um, what about like, like, like how much does it cost to produce a film like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. If somebody would have told me years ago that uh, I would have been doing something like this, I'd have laughed in their face because it, it transcends more than money, man. It, yeah. it takes over your life, man. Like 
producer, writer, actor, director. It engulfed my whole entire life. I became obsessed with this to the point that sometimes people would call me and they would not talk that long because this is all I'm on, man. This is it. This is the journey. This is the goal to bring this story to the masses. And this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Until it's done. Like people hit me up. He was even talking about it. You know what I'm saying? What's the next one? I'm like, I'm not I even. Don't, I just I'm want on, to stop. I'm you know on I mean? this, you know. And to answer your question, it takes a whole lot of money. Too much. Whole lot of money. That's why people don't do it. Mm-hmm. Luckily, really we in have money. respect and we have uh, a lot of loyal people around the city that love us, that respect us, that allowed us to possibly use this establishment or use this situation. Cars, so a lot of resources, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that are needed Books, for a film plans. to make a big film, <laughs> they showed love, man. Because we always gave love, man. If you ever try to do it, just make sure that you're like that. You wasn't burning bridges with everybody you see. Like we said before, though, you see how it come back around? So in a sense, it's almost like y'all was being prepared for this movie. Plucked and groomed by God, baby. And I mean that, man. Mm -hmm. He had his hands all over this. He had his hands all over this. Little things that would happen, man. That was just mind-blowing. How perfect things would go. You know, like it was don't a great no, thing. Don't give away none of the movie. No, I ain't giving away none. I'm just saying it was it was popular, man. But but you'll see it. You know what I'm saying? It'll speak for itself. Hands down. So let's say it's a um let's say it's a director in the city of South Bend and he just used to shoot like music videos and you know he How much would it cost in another place? No, no, no. How... I'll give you that number if you want it. No, not how much would it uh well yeah, you could throw it in, like yeah, in another place. 20 million in 20... LA. I had an actual producer tell me that to shoot this film in a budget that would have to be in LA, it would cost 20 million dollars. Wow. Now 20 million dollars ain't 70 or 80 like Marvel or something like that. But twenty million ain't something to bat the eye at, you know what I'm saying? Twenty mil is twenty mil. Exactly. Okay, you cut his slices. Bro. Ain't nobody in the city of South Bend that's seen twenty million dollars. No. Besides, if you worked at a bank, no. that's about. Probably I mean, not even at a bank. They probably ain't even. I don't even think they be having that much. Not around here. Yeah, I don't think around here. <laughs> you know, man. Just, man. Like I said, passion and just keep going with it. Make it. You gotta make it look good, man. And you had to have every every actor in this movie killed. Really it. played that part, you know. I, I'm really not into swelling nobody's heads up or anything like that. No, like he's said, not I'm, like I'm that. ground level. Yeah, Every yeah, time yeah. he would call me and be like, hey, how'd that scene look? I'd be like, yeah, it looked good. You know? But when I seen the movie, mm-hmm. you know, all in all in full, you know, I had my little private screen and I called him immediately afterward and I was like, hey, I'm excited, bro. And it's I don't get down. excited. No, you he know? don't. He really don't. And I hate it. But he don't get excited. I'm the excited one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what would you tell somebody, um, a director from South Bend that's used to shooting music videos and they want to get into to shooting the movie? Exactly what I tell them. Like, don't like, do it. Be creative, man. Let's be creative, man. Let's really be creative, man. I'm, I, you know, I, I don't never hate on nobody's art form or what they want to do with their art form because everybody's entitled to make art and, and see art how they see fit. But me personally, I'm tired of looking at stuff where you're in the a backyard of someone's home or you're... Um, you know, at a car wash or something. I mean, let's 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 build the creativity up a little bit. You know, I had a private jet back in '09. Like what? I mean, what what were we doing here, man? Let's use the creativity buzz. Let's do something that ain't done been done before. You know, let's let's use this buzz going and don't stop. Don't don't take no for an answer. Don't See, follow that. People door. put a cap on their own creativity because they don't think they can get this. They don't think they can do that. That's wrong, man. You're know, hurting people, yourself, you know what I'm saying? People get lost in what's cool. Man, yeah. Man, we no. never even looked at what's cool. No, being cool mm-hmm. is being unique, man, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though, you know? But yeah. you know what, what was cool was, you know, you can you can take all the videos that are done today. Now, I'm not, I can't knock no artist for what they do for their craft. Nah, man. But the only thing I can say is I can critique this. I can critique that. For me, critiquing a lot, a lot of artists that are that are doing it from the Chicago area, LA, Texas, they're all in that one little apartment building with a whole bunch of guns out. But granted, that's the music that you do, but that's what's cool. Yeah. So they're gonna get those little numbers, but if all, all it takes is one of these cats to do a video maybe like that, dress it up a little better, show more uniqueness, and th- there's, there's your one. 
there's your one that sticks out more than everybody. But don't put a cap on your creativity, no. man. Don't think you can't do something because you can do anything, man. I, I walked I, I walked the same path that most people has walked, you know what I'm saying? And I'm doing something completely different than, than a lot of people, man. And it, and it's uh it's a blessing and I and I, I, I recognize that blessing, but if I can do it, anybody else can do it. Cause we're all the same human. If I cut you, you're gonna bleed just like me. If I cut him, same thing. You know, I'm no different than anybody else out here, man. I just have my passion and there I have a resilience to myself that's gonna make it happen. I'm not a superhero. So if I can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You feel me? There's no there shouldn't be no cap, you know. We're no different than anybody else. We're people, man. Make it happen. Make it happen. Do your research. Be real with Find yourself. out how to do it. Make it happen. And don't stop. Push. 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 Man, Until they stop a, laughing. A if they deal, laughing, you can find a loophole. And then they start recognizing it. Mm -hmm. And they be like, damn, homeboy's doing his thing. You know, this is crazy. Keep pushing, man. You know, never stop. Just gotta keep it moving. Yeah. Man, I'm like, <laughs> man, what more can I really ask, dog? Like, I mean, y'all are talking about. So, so how are you doing? Yeah, so how are you doing? I, I was doing. doing. <laughs> <laughs> y'all trying to interview me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so how are you been? Man, yeah. I've been. But now, we, man, we appreciate the time. For we real, appreciate yeah. the effort. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to come up in here because I know this is the first time we met. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we just kind of sat down and just let loose. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just want to let you know. I left my King Giro's ribs yeah, right man. where they were. That's real, too. To run out. That's real. And, That's you know, real. I really wanted to be smashed in barbecue That's sauce real. right now, man. That's all good. That's right love, man. man. We thank you, man, for the platform, man. We really yeah. do, man, and getting this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, God bless you on your success and what, you, what you're doing for yourself. And you keep motivating people and putting people in position, too, just like everybody else that I've seen a part of this situation. Salute to them as well. Hopefully that one day, maybe them people in the past interviews you've done or ourselves can inspire somebody else to be better than us, to be greater than what we're doing, to do even further of anything that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? And bring your people with you. You know what I'm saying? Bring your city with you. You know what I'm saying? Bring yeah. the loved ones with you, man. And make it a human love. thing, you know? Definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? We're all about the love. All about the love. All about the love. All about the love. That's what <laughs> Athena says. I'm all about the love. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my daughter Athena. I love you. My pops, my mother, you know what I'm saying? My sister, you know, all the actors and actresses involved, especially as Selena Morales, Heka Garcia, you know, Marcos Burgess, Rocky Lopez, Enrique Kings, Steve Viegas, JT Campos, Noel G, Sarah Molina. You know, I love all y'all. Everybody a part of Concrete Rose, man. Like, we appreciate y'all greatly and you know, we're giving you the Sky's best platform. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's coming. And it's going down. You get a free ticket too, man, to premiere. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Um, you can go man. live there. We'll let you go live yeah, yeah, live man, podcast yeah. there, man, man, It's yeah, all man. good. It's all love, man. man. Appreciate y'all, brother. No Thank y'all. It's all love. <laughs>